Hey guys, what is up? It is Trickstep here, and today you are going to be watching a quick tutorial on how to make a spigot server. So we're gonna get right into it. Um, you need these two things, but I will put everything down in the description for you. So we're gonna start off with the uh, build tools here, and um, get we'll get into Git later on. So uh, this website will be in the description. All you gotta do is go to it, click on. Uh, it'll be like latest, so I mean. You go to buildtools.jar, save it. Now I already have it saved, but you make a new folder, name it whatever, and then put this inside the folder. Now, we cannot just simply run this um, over here. Hold up. Uh, we cannot simply just run this um, buildtools.jar here, because it just won't work. It'll um, give you this error right quick. You must run the jar through bash. All right, and that's where git comes through here um so like i said links will be in the description you go ahead click here download for whatever you have uh mac windows all that so for this demonstration i have windows so i click on windows and it downloads for you go ahead and install that now once that's done let me just go ahead and delete that real quick once that's done you can then open up your git hash exe right here now all the commands and stuff will be in the uh, description down below and what you want to do is type in also don't forget you need Java now if you don't have Java um, I will link you to what you need but um so right now you just go CD desktop done now you're in your desktop directory so anything on here basically now because I have my folder named server what I will do now is type in cd server. Now, here we go. So we have our, um, what is it? We have our git hash here locked into the server folder. Now, there's two different types of codes that I'll have in the uh, description below. Two different codes so that you can um, start up your server. So. I'm running on a 64 bit here, so for what for what I would do is I would go right here, paste in this code, and like I said, I will give you the um, link to the Java. You hit enter and you let this go. So I will be right back to you. I'm gonna fast forward the video and I'll be back to you when this is all done. Uh, enjoy the music.
Alright guys, uh, so as you can see, it's already finished now, and pretty much we're almost done, we only got one more step to go, so once you get um, your um, sp spigot and all that, we're gonna be working on the crap bucket here, so we're gonna pull that one, yeah, anyways, you're gonna go to new, and you can create a new text document, so you're just gonna name it start, and then you open it, and I'm gonna give you guys a uh, code to paste in to your um, to your notepad just to uh, launch the server. So this is how much uh, memory you can allocate to the server, uh, basically yeah, how much it lags if you're not. But um, what you want to do is you want to copy this, Control C. And if your thing is outdated, all you gotta do is go like this and Control V. And basically you have your name right you can name that anything this is from one of my old servers so i didn't um like when it was 1.3 or 1.8.3 so i just had to update it right quick and then when you save go like that and that's that's pretty much done now you just gotta right click also you can close out of your git so you right click rename and if you do not see this uh, .txt, you can either go. Uh, pretty sure you can. Yeah, okay. So you can either, if you don't see the extension, uh, I'm pretty sure this will work. If not, you just all you gotta do is open up your thing, go type in. Or uh, not that, sorry. Show, and then you should see show hidden files and folders. Click on that. Go right here and hit. Uh, um. It'll say, uh, where is it? Yeah, okay, so it'll be right here. Um, you just unclick it and you should be good. Hit apply, blah, blah. And that's pretty much how you get that. And now you go and you type in replace.txt without that. Yes, I'm sure I want to change it. Now, you go and when you double click it, you will be opening up a CMD command.exe and um, you need to agree to you uh, okay so now they have this uh, thing so pretty much all this means is you close out your server you go to eula.exe you change it and all you gotta do is literally just type in true save it and start her up again We'll go through uh, server properties and all that later on after this process is done and it shouldn't take too long it should be like a couple seconds probably for um, most of you depending on your PC also the uh, git when it was loading all the files that could take up to five to ten minutes for some people depending on what kind of PC you got 
So uh, anyways, that's done. So we're just gonna stop the server. It's gonna pause it. Um, all you gotta do to uh, change some of the settings, open up server.properties. If you don't have uh, Notepad++, you just right click and uh, open it up in WordPad. Um, so pretty much all you do here, um, MOTD, pretty straightforward, micro server. That's what's gonna list it in the uh, multiplayer. Um, all these settings are here. I'm not gonna really go through it because I'm only really making this tutorial on how to make a Minecraft server, but um, for Windows. And um, that's pretty much it. I can. Um, I'm not gonna teach you all how to port forward anything, but um, I don't. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of videos out there um, related to port forwarding. And um, I'll go ahead and quickly launch this now. Um, let's see. Um, where's my Minecraft? And so I'm just gonna quickly open up my um, Minecraft here. Load her up. Click on play. Now, for okay, one sec. Hold up. Um, there's one thing actually that we didn't go through, and I just realized. So you want to go ahead and stop your server. Now, open up your command prompt and type in ipconfig. Now you'll be prompted with a IPv4 address, you go to mark, copy that down, and go open up your server files, go to server properties, and type in under server IP, you just go like that, paste that in, and save that. Now we can go ahead and start it up now. Sorry about that, that was uh, my bad. And um, this should be loaded now. Now we go into multiplayer and it should be here under your IPv4. That's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna go through that um, quickly. You just paste in your IPv4 and you're good to go. So all you gotta do, load up your Minecraft and you're pretty much good to go. Now, um, if you want friends to join, like I said, um, it's not gonna work unless you port forward. Um, just go ahead and uh, go on YouTube and search up how to port forward a Minecraft server. And that's all, it's pretty basic. Um, thank you all for watching my video. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. This was just a quick tutorial. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.